Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime. My name's Miss Shalom. I'm gonna read you a great book. Graham Cracker's here with us today, my teddy bear who likes to hear all the stories. You can see him right behind me up on the edge of the sound booth. I'm in the sanctuary today. Our book is 10 Little Rubber Ducks by Eric Carl. There's a really fun surprise at the end. Ten little rubber ducks. Chuggity, chuggity, chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks, one after the other, one after the other. The little rubber ducks are painted Bills red and eyes blue. Then they are packed, ten to a box, and off they go. to be loaded onto a cargo ship. Hello, calls the captain. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to faraway countries, to faraway countries. Suddenly, a storm churns the water into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea. Whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and 10 little rubber ducks fall out. 10 rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. 10 rubber ducks overboard. After some time, the storm calms down. The 10 little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. As far as one can see, only water and sky, only water and sky. The 10 little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. The first little rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. The third little rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. The fourth little rubber duck drifts south. A flamingo stares at it. The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left. A pelican chatters at it. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right and a turtle glides past it. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up. An octopus blinks at it. The eighth little rubber duck drifts down and a seagull screeches at it. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way and a whale sings to it.
the tenth little rubber duck just that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting, it is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky, only water and sky. The next morning, the 10th little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim towards their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Squeak, says the little rubber duck. At the beginning of this book, it tells us that this was based on a true story from a newspaper report. July of 2003. Rubber Ducks Lost at three, Sea. Eric Carl says he read this newspaper report and couldn't resist making a book out of it. In the true story, 29,000 rubber ducks, turtles and frogs fell overboard from a container ship and they washed up all over the pace, place on the northern coast of Greenland, in the Atlantic Ocean and in Alaska and all over the place. So that's a really fun story. There's a picture of the newspaper article. And there's the author, Eric Carl. Do you wanna hear the duck one more time? <laughs>